Hello everyone, this is one quick video demonstration of the latest DFL Seagate firmware repair tool. Now for the hardware, we have upgraded the hardware to the USB 3 design and it supports three hard drives at the same time for Seagate firmware repair, two SATA and one ID hard drives. Now let's enter the latest version of the Seagate program. Here users can select the Stata and or Tata channels. So each drive work in independent channels and they don't affect each other. Here I select the Sata channel, click OK to enter the program. I power on the hard drive. So it's, it gets ready. Now I enter the program. So the DFL uh, Seagate firmware repair tool supports both the old Seagate hard drive and the new Seagate F3 hard drives. So this hard drive I collected is my F3 hard drive. I, I enter the program and obtain details. OK, come file. Click OK, do what I found. Create now, yes. Okay. So the hard drive ID information is detected and displayed here and the CP and the modules, the firmware package information. Module list, module count are all listed in log window. Here users can work in the COM terminal. So users can type commands to fix the hard drives in this window. And here is the module list. So users can uh, right click and check. Uh, check all the modules and find out which modules are bad. And module editing. Hex, this is the hex view of the modules. So let's check the functions for the DFL Seagate hard drives. Common solutions. These are the test, some testing uh, function for the Seagate hard drives. So users need to know to work with the Seagate hard drives. It is a must to Connect the COM connector and COM cable, so you can use this common, the common firmware repair solutions. This we call this one uh, button fix and quick solutions to the firmware finish. Remove password. Set max LBA. LBA to CHS. Yeah, find out the head number of the LBA. ROM operations. We read ROM, ROM adaptives. So this ROM adaptive is not the original ROM, but it's used often for the F3 hard drives during the head swap. After the head swap, you need to edit the ROM as well. So this one uh, is very useful. Users just to put the pension room and dollar room, and here you select the parts to save the adaptive room. Yeah, after you uh, swap the head, and then you write this adaptive room to the uh, source hard drive. Then the source hard drive with dollar heads can work perfectly with this adaptive room.
firmware oper operations, uh, obtain the SA information, read read modules, tracks, read write CAP, uh, read all resources, as well as read. Uh, this one uh, is very uh, useful and uh, common. As well as file scan, key data module, read test. Yeah, this function, this YS can be used to fix many uh, hard drive failures. You just need to, you know, uh, scan this YS file and clear it or replace it. It's very useful. And here we can find one new function, the common firmware extraction. We can use the common firmware and, uh, you know, back up the playlist and the translator then and also the ROM you need to back up these key modules and then write this comma firmware and write back the key modules we just mentioned then we use this way this new way to you know repair uh, the Seagate F3 hard drive defect management so users can clear defect list format uh, smart operations view smart Clear smart, reset smart, translator, edit please clear ends list, single LBA, yeah, to fix, uh, restore translator to fix the, you know, sector access problems, the common firmware failures, we can use this one to fix. Formula with GP list, uh, these ones are used to, you know, refurbish the F3 hard drives. Scan to defect list at playlist. Uh, yeah, th th these ones are useful here to refurbish the hard drives. Advanced, edit the RAP, CAP, and SAP. Yeah, for advanced users only. Usually, we don't re recommend common users to use these functions. Self check, offline customization, zone restore, adjust the at the head flying height head correction these ones are used to refurbish hard drives too so we have a lot of options to work with the Seagate new F3 hard drives including the um, uh, the new DM series so you can find a lot of functions for within the DFU Stigit firmware repair tool. So this is one quick view for DFU Stigit program tool. Thank you for watching this video.